Today, Alfonso and I take you to Rockbridge County in the Valley Ridge region of Virginia. We're going to show you all around McCormick's farm where he invented the Reaper. Now, right down the road from the Frontier Museum is the McCormick farm. It's where Cyrus McCormick invented the Reaper. And because agriculture was so important to Virginia, the invention of the Reaper made farming so much easier for the farmers. So let's take you around McCormick's farm. Let's go. Alfonso says he wishes this was his yard, McCormick's yard. I really do. It's ideal. It has a beautiful stream, a bridge, a lake. Look at that. So here you are at the grist mill, and the grist mill is where they grind up the grain for to make bread and things like that, to make flour. And to grind the grain, they used hydropower, water power. The water would make this big wheel move, and we'll take you inside and show you how it would crank the gears and grind up the grain. Here we are inside. Right behind me, we have where the grinder starts its work. The, the grain is dropped down, it goes to the funnel, it's dropped down inside this wood casing. Inside the wood casing are two stones. The grain gets stuck in between the two stones. When that big wheel that you saw starts turning, it turns the gears, which causes the grinder to start grinding up the grain. And then it's going to drop down on the bottom part of this grist mill. Let's go take a look. Now you saw the stones with the wood encasing. Here are the stones without the wood encasement. That would be extremely too heavy to have the people turn that and grind that by the hand. That's where the work of the water with the water wheel made it much easier for the farmers. Here's the huge gears and you can see the water would turn the gears and make them spin and it would spin the big stones up above. And then the grain after, and after it got ground up by those stones up there it would come out through this um, inclined plane and dump there. A nice and ground up. And there's even some of the finely ground corn right here. See there's corn meal. We can cook some good cornbread out of that. Right Alfonso? Yum Dave. So here's how a grist mill works. Water turns the water wheel on the outside of the mill while inside the mill the water wheel is turning different wooden gears which link into each other. And those gears are connected to the grist mill stone on the second floor, which grinds the grain between them. All right, boys and girls. Remember, we told you how heavy those stones were. And Dave said that he was pretty strong. And he really wanted to see if he could lift one of those stones. So let's find out. All right, Big Dave here. I'm going to try to lift the grist mill stone. Yep, too heavy, Alfonso. I'm glad we have water power to do the, to do the work. So, did you really think he was going to be able to lift it? If you said no, you're pretty smart. All right, enough chit-chat about the grist mill. We're actually here to talk about the Reaper. There's a famous saying that says, necessity is the mother of invention. And Silas McCormick saw a necessity for something to help harvest wheat faster. And so at the age of 21, he invented the Reaper. One of the great inventions that Cyrus McCormick invented was the Reaper. The Reaper, in 1831, it changed the way that wheat was harvested. You can look here as an example of the Reaper. This is where it would be attended to a horse. The horse would be pulling the machine, which would come on over here spinning this wheel, and then we have a felt which would turn this item here. This would pull the grain into the blades that are below. The blades would cut the grain. The grain would fall on the platform. You can see how the platform is slanted for the grain would then, the cut grain would then slip off of the platform and then folks behind it would be able to easily pull up the grain and then bring it over to the grist mill for it can be ground up to that fine flour that Dave was talking about. As you can see, there's a lot of different simple machines in this one machine. There's pulleys, there's wheels and axles, there's wedges. It was an incredible invention. 
and it won the highest award of that day, the gold medal in London. And that helped Cyrus McCormick became world famous because his invention changed farming for the whole world. Um, before, it, a farmer could only cut about half an acre in one day. After they got this reaper, they could cut 12 acres down in one day. That saved a lot of work and enabled a lot more people to have different jobs instead of farming. Here you can see Alfonso zipping along in his reaper. He can cut 12 acres a day, whereas I can only cut half an acre by hand. And here you can see why. Look at this man cutting grain with a scythe. That's how they used to cut it before the reaper. You can see why it took a long time. But now with the reaper, farmers were very happy to have this invention. Well, boys and girls, we found this, but we weren't really sure what it was. Trickers don't know everything, but we can try to figure it out. We know that it's pulled by a horse. We know that it has a seat, and we know that it has a little control here. And from the modern times, I know it looks a little bit like a tractor. So looking at the prongs behind there, I would say that this is some kind of baler. It would bale the hay, okay, or grain. It would bale the, it would bale the grain. Therefore you take the grain into the grist mill and let the process begin to making that cornmeal, to make that delicious bread that Dave's always talking about. Because Dave's hungry because Alfonso hasn't let me eat it all on this trip. Now Cyrus McCormick was a great inventor. He invented all these things for the farmers to make their life easier. Well, farmers got thirsty. So I think he decided to make an event, the Coca-Cola machine. They just slip in their money, tab, and crack out the old cold one. And now they're ready to hit the farm again. Great invention. Now you should know from what the trekkers have been telling you that some things, just by looking at them, you can tell they're from a different time period. So this actually doesn't belong on Cyrus McCormick Farm. It's just for us. Because we get hungry and thirsty. Well, after all this talk of food and drink, I'm hungry, so I'm going to go eat. But you go ahead and explore our website and be sure to check out our animated diagram of the Reaper to learn more.